Hey guys, and thanks for watching Planting Paradise. So I had decided to repot my Cal and Chloe this morning, and I was like halfway through, and I was like, hmm, maybe this would be a good continuation of my prior series, um, especially because I didn't realize how bad the roots got. I must have just potted up, which means that I used the old soil and just like picked up the plant and put it in a new pot as opposed to completely changing the soil and everything. So today I just wanted to kind of show you guys um, how I'm going to treat this plant a little bit better. Um, so here, all I did was I removed some of the soil and I had it soaking because a lot of the soil was actually stuck on. Um, I realized as I was trying to repot it, I actually have some areas where there's large portions of rot between the soil and the roots so I'm actually having to scrape this off and I wanted to show you guys that it is perfectly okay to do it um, from my propagation video you can actually see how easy it is to get them to reroot this is a very forgiving plant so I'm just gonna kind of go for it best as I can I rather kind of destroy the roots a little bit versus leaving in some of the rot because then I'll end up having to do this again in the future and then there'll be more roots to destroy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of pick through. You can see I just pulled off a chunk of both healthy and not healthy roots here. And um, this is my process. So I am gonna continue doing this off camera and I will touch back with you when it's a little bit cleaner. Sorry, it's a bit loud here today, but um, anyways, if you have a spare toothbrush, you can definitely use a very soft, like kid's toothbrush for this. Um, same method that you would use to clean off any roots uh, before you place them in LECA, but you can use the Q-tip, just try to get some of that off. I think the brush is gonna be a little bit better, but unfortunately I don't have a spare one right now. Um, you can also use, use tweezers to try to really get into those little nooks and crannies, but sometimes I feel like I have a little bit better control versus uh, with my finger. So, I'm sorry, with my finger versus the tweezers. So I've mostly cleaned off the roots. Um, I did end up going to tweezers, so all I did was kind of just pick at the black areas um, and there was chunks that kind of came off like this. Most of it is just rotting media or medium as in soil um, plus some of the roots. Um, if you have a little area of rot and the plant's immune system isn't able to handle it, it just kind of all turns mushy. So then um, any healthy roots are going to stay on naturally if I rinse like this and that's all I'm doing. It's just rinsing. Um, I think that's going to be pretty much the extent of how much I'm going to work with roots, you can see that it is so much smaller than the pot that it originally came out of here. I'm sure you guys remember the size of the inner pot as well. Um, and then here's one area that it did end up dying off at, and it does sound a little bit hollow, though it's not mushy. So um, I think I'll leave this. This is definitely, you can see, if I can do this to it, that's not a viable area um, and if I squish it it actually feels here it's mushy um, but here it just kind of feels hollow so what I'm gonna do is take my trusty um, pruning shears and I'm just going to see where it's dry Oop, I lost a leaf oh, you guys remember how tortured this poor thing is it okay. so you can see how it is hollow that's what makes it mushy and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and just prune it right here and it's still a little mushy but I'm, I'm probably just gonna leave it just to callus um, and then with the roots I'm gonna be spraying it with some pure hydrogen peroxide and just letting it sit for a little bit it's a pretty brutal process for my poor plant but I trust that it's going to heal just fine Okay, and I'm just gonna let it sit. So now I've got everything cleaned up and I also rinsed off the roots that I sprayed with the hydrogen peroxide. The reason that I do spray with the hydrogen peroxide is because I've obviously damaged a lot of the roots 
during the whole process of trying to get everything, all the rot and um, all the media off. So I just spray it just to give a little bit of extra protection to the roots. Um, but I think that it's going to recover just fine. So what I'm going to do next, last part, is just to pot it up. My friend got me this super duper chunky perlite. I'm so in love with this. This is like... I don't know very very consistent it's mother earth number three i believe so my new thing is i use it at the bottom there's some drainage holes down there but it also gives a little bit of extra drainage here okay and here i have my actual potting mix um all i have is some potting soil some regular perlite some um pine bark which is uh the orchid mix that i use and i'm gonna just mix some in here I have some chunky perlite in here as well, so in case you couldn't tell by how chunky it is. Okay, and then I am just going to uh, probably just continue to have this one in the middle here like it originally had. Lots of interruptions today, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so just going to put a little bit more mix in. I'm saving this spot over here, so you know it probably would be better down here. But I'm going to stick the other one right here. Let's see how we can hold it. Sorry, a little awkward camera positioning here. Okay. And then I'm going to shake it up just a little bit. It's going to be nice and loose for this, for the new plants to kind of grow. The only annoying thing about the succulents is, I'm sorry, the giant perlite is that it doesn't, hold as well um, so that's where that's where the little um, particles of the normal soil will come in handy okay so I've pretty much filled up the pot with soil and um, now I am just going to stick these little pieces back because they didn't have extensive roots. I'm not going to bother backfilling them. I'm just going to pick some prime location. Let me see what works. Um, to just stick these back in, that looks good to me. And this is just going to make the pot appear a little bit fuller once it kind of grows out. All the ones with roots I'm just sticking slightly into the soil I am going to just go ahead and water it because the soil was pretty dry it's probably going to take a little bit of time to kind of really get in there so it's going to drain really quick at first and have some trouble soaking up because it's a little bit hydrophobic sorry I'm all discombobulated today because we're outside for the first time in a long time. And now it's thoroughly watered and everything looks great. So all the leaves still feel firm, which is uh, what I usually use to indicate how this particular plant is doing. And um, I have the little cuttings kind of stuck into the side of the pot to give it more of that fuller appearance. I'm going to keep an eye on this little stick here and see if it sprouts um, or if it decides to go all mushy. Um, but again I think that it's going to recover really really well so I'm not really concerned um, I give it about two weeks of adjusting to having all its roots ripped off and um, the new soil the new conditions but this is a much better quality mix um, than whatever it was in before I think it was in more like a peat base mix uh, which is what the store probably had it in um, so I have a lot of great hope for this one Hey guys, it's been about a couple weeks or so and what ended up happening was that middle branch actually ended up um, drying out. I think I just did way too much damage to the roots. But everything else has really taken off so I didn't put any of the um, sprouts from the dried up stem 
back in the pot because the pot is pretty much full the way it is. So just wanted to show you guys real quick. Don't be afraid to mess with it because they are super duper resilient. I haven't even put these outside yet. So when I do that, they will really, really grow. But you can see how healthy everything is. All right, so thanks so much for watching, guys. I decided just to tack this on to the end of that first video um, so you guys can kind of see the results. Um, but hope to see you guys next time. And don't forget to drop a comment if you have any questions and feel free to hit subscribe. Thanks, guys.